My name's Amelia and I'm 16 years old. My dad had cancer for about three years. Near Christmas is when he became ill again. He did spend Christmas with us, which was nice. But then he had to go back into hospital. It's quite upsetting because he that's the only place you can see him and you obviously want to see him better. He did pass away at hospital so it was quite sad because you didn't get to say goodbye that you wanted to. I think me and my sister have helped my mum as well for it together. At the time I was upset because you just lost someone really close to you who you didn't think would go until later on, so you thought it'd always be there for you. I'd say I miss pretty much everything, his personality and everything about my dad, because he sort of brightened up the day. Bottling up, it's worse, because it's just you with your thoughts and you need to share it before you can deal with it. Being in the same house, it does help. It kind of makes you happy because you remember the good memories you've had and they're never going to be taken away from you. But it, it makes you sad because he's no longer there to have more memories with. At the moment, I feel it's got easier because you, you have more time to reflect on what's happened. I say it's like helped me mature as well as it's, it's obviously something that's happened and you can't go back in time and change it so you get more of an understanding of what does actually happen in life. So it, it does get easier. The Meerkat Hospice has helped me because it's a way of expressing how you feel. With the Meerkat service friends that I've made, I talk about my dad and um, we also talk about their parents they've lost. You find it easier to talk to them as obviously they've been through exactly the same and they can understand how you actually emotionally feel about what's happened and you're just kind of a support for one another. I think if the hospice wasn't there it would have been different because you haven't got that support from people who are sort of trained in helping you and understanding how you would actually feel. I used to not talk about my emotions, I don't really, but I find people that I can trust and I can open up to. So you need to find someone who you can trust and open up to and you're pretty much just the same person and you just talk to them all about how you feel.